Hey friends, how are you? I hope that life is being awesome for you and treating you kind. I hope that you are all doing well. Um, I thought I'd come on here and um, I'm going to work on one of my new stamped kits today to do a stitch with me. Um, I just, it's been a bit, I want to do some catch up with you, kind of let you know what's going on. Um, and just kind of just kind of chat and do some catch up with you guys. I miss you all so much. I miss our chats. I miss seeing everyone on videos. I just life life is crazy. So um, anyhow, let's let's go ahead and I've got a list here. Um, sorry about all the moving. Um, anyhow, this is the one we're gonna work on that I showed in one of my update videos. This is cool girl. Um, and I'm just going to be boring today and basic and, and work on just 310 because all of this, this 04 is, this blue is, is all 310. So we're just going to work on some block stitching today while I, um, go over my notes and chat with you about things that I want to talk about. So this is 11 count. Um, I'm using three strands. I'm going to do three strands over one full cross. Um, let me get my list here. Things I want to talk about with you, and then we'll get started. So, yeah, I have a list. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and tie this in a bit. Um, and let's see, where do I, I'm sorry. Just trying to figure out where I want to go. Um, for the most part, I do start these on the front, um, and then I work over my tail, and then I'll snip these ends. Um, I do have a couple of my other ones in Q-snaps, um, but I know I'm going to have a hard time, just because I'm, I'm on video. See? See? And it's not a Q-snap. But I've been working in hand when I can. Maybe that hole's not punched through. There we go. Okay. Let's get going. Let's let's catch up. Okay, so. Uh, four weeks ago yesterday, my mom called me to let me know that my dad was in ER. Um, and that he was actively having a stroke. Hi, Draco. You get a little chitty chat from Draco going on here, too. Um, so it has been four weeks of pure hell, to put it nicely. Um, my dad started out in ER. He went to... Um, from ER upstairs to the floor, he coded three times. They had to use the paddles on him to straighten his heart back out. Um, and from there they moved him into ICU. He spent, um, a few weeks, well no, I'm sorry, a few days in ICU. Maybe closer to a week, I don't know. It's all running, it's all running together. Um... And during that time in ICU, um, he was uh, intubated just to be able to suction him out. Um, the machines were not breathing for him. Um, he does not want that, so that is part of his DNR. Um, so he moved from ICU to PCU. <laughs> One second. One second, peeps. Hey, friends. How are you? I hope you all are doing well. I hope that life is being kind to you. I thought I'd stop in. It's been a bit. I thought I'd stop in and do um, a stitch with me. I'm going to work on a stamped kit that I received from Paint Some Way. Um, this one is called Cool Girl. I 
got my thread started. It's a brand new start today. I got my thread started off camera. Um, I did a video, but this is what she looks like. So really pretty, but today I'm just going to be basic and do 310 block stitching for now um, while we chat. I have, I have a list of things that um, I want to talk about and catch you up on. Um, yeah, so we're just going to, we're going to roll with it. We're going to see how much black we can get done um, while we chat and we will go from there. So, oh, life has been crazy. The last four weeks have thrown me a major curveball. Um, many of you know that my dad had a stroke four weeks ago. Um, he is still in the hospital recovering. Um, this was, this was a, a pretty bad one. Um... He is doing better than he was. I will take any little achievement every day over no achievement. Baby steps. Um, my dad has always been a very independent man. Uh, the doctors told him he would be in a wheelchair by the time he was 30 because of his health. And my dad is still kicking. Um... Up until the stroke, he was still actively out in his pole barn doing stuff. Um, the night he had the stroke, he was enjoying a bonfire with the neighbors. They cooked hot dogs and made s'mores over the campfire. So, um, pretty much what you would expect from a stroke. Um, he does know who we are, which is great. Um, that part of his brain was not affected. He is getting some movement back in his left finger, his left hand fingers, uh, more so in the index finger. Um, his writing is getting way better, which is good. He is right-handed, but whoo, man, it was it hard to read his writing at first. So most of his communication with us is through writing. Um, he's starting to get his swallowing back, um, but he, so he's fighting bladder cancer, was doing chemo for that. He's one year in remission from stage three lung cancer. Then he got the bladder cancer. Then he got hit by the stroke. Um, while in the hospital, he has acquired pseudomonas, which is a type of pneumonia commonly found in healthcare settings. So they've had him on antibiotics for three weeks. Nothing, nothing seems to be taking care of it. Um, Finally switched him to a different antibiotic. He seems to be clearing up a little bit now. Um, chest x-ray shows the right lung is clear. Left lung still has uh, white opacities, which could be uh, still a little bit of the pneumonia. I can't talk now. Pneumonia left over. Um... For his rehab, he has been able to stand about 25 minutes at a time um, at the parallel bars. He does have some, he does have feeling all along his left side, but he cannot move his arm at all. He calls it a floppy jalopy. Um, his left foot, he is getting some strength back in. And, um, is able to, um, they gave him a strap. He is able to grab his foot with this, it looks like a noose, anyhow. Um, pull his foot over to his, up and over to his other leg. 
and then he is able to stretch and straighten it back out. Um, so we're, we're making progress. He's making progress. It's just very exhausting. My mom has been staying with me um, to help out around here because my hip is getting worse from the hip fracture. The cold rainy weather isn't helping. Um, so she's helping out around here, um, trying to keep me company. I'm trying to keep her company. We're, we're each other's rock right now. Um, so videos, YouTube, floss tube, um, group chats, everything is kind of just been put on hold for the time being. Just exhaustion is real and that's all I can say between trying to keep up with everything going on with my dad and still trying to take care of myself, still be there for my mom. Like, it is so exhausting. And I already am not sleeping due to the hip and the pain. So I get maybe two hours of sleep and then I'm, I'm right back up again. And so, yeah, uh, it's, we still have a long road ahead of us, but very hopeful for, um, a good outcome that he will get a lot of his strength and movement back and in, in the left he's very determined he has always been very determined um, staying with me also puts my mom closer to the hospital in case of an emergency doesn't take her cuts about 20 minutes off her drive time and then um, it's been nice it's been super nice having her here to just sit and chat with and keep me company while Mike's at work and stuff and so it's funny how um, life events have a way of making you slow down and reappreciate everything around you. Um, I was so involved in Mike's project and working on that so much every day that I could that um, I got hyper focused and I wasn't chatting with my mom and dad as much as usual as I normally would um, to which both they completely understood that I was trying to complete a goal but again I let a project get in the way of communications with family and friends so um, Mike's project has not been worked on um, in the last four weeks. I've managed to get some stamped cross stitching done, a little bit of diamond painting, but for the most part, it's literally just sleep, deal with pain, eat, and try to be there for all, each other. Um, Hi, Draco. Draco's chit-chatting, too. He thinks that he should be able to get his little two cents in. Um, so that's, that's pretty much it on my dad's, my dad's end. We're just taking it one day at a time. And, um, not a whole lot to, to update about on that right now. We're just waiting for him to be okay enough that he can he can go home so that's he wants to be home and that's what he's aiming for and that's what we're trying to trying to get him to that place so um let's see what else um whew channel name change. I did, I changed it and then I didn't discuss it. Um, I am still known as Jeep Girl and probably always will be. Um, I am still Jeep Girl Stitches as far as the community goes. 
Um, I'm still Jeep Girl Case. However, I wanted something different for my channel. And I wanted to incorporate something that would include a lot of my interests. And so brainstorming with Dylan and others, I got some, I've gotten some good feedback on the channel name that I changed it to. Um, seems like every time I do a video, I'm, I'm always confessing something to you. Um, yeah, my, untangle, untangle my thread here. And you see probably my feet and my jammy bottoms and everything else. Um, yeah, so confessions of a serial stitcher, I thought were, I thought was kind of cool because I'm always... I'm always telling you guys something that I I need an intervention. I'm addicted to stitching. I need help. I you know so that was kind of the funny end of it. And serial stitcher. Well, you know I am just taking on all of these projects and and trying to trying to complete them all. So. Before my dad's stroke, I felt like I was killing these projects by as much as I was working on them. But I don't feel that way right now, but I'm not going to change it to suit this time period in my life. Also, just thinking about as I'm getting older, <laughs> I'm 45, and I don't know. I just felt kind of like it seemed a little childish, not so much me anymore. I haven't been able to get in my Jeep in a long time and go do anything with it. So, I mean, I've had people come to me and want to know, sorry guys, I can't find that hole, um, you know, people... I had someone comment on my Instagram that they came there looking for Jeep, pictures of my Jeep, and there's not really anything up there. Um, they're all, they're all on Facebook. Um, you know, it's the same with my, my YouTube channel, and so anyways, I just decided after a year it's time for a change. I needed, needed something different. I love, uh murder mysteries, I love true crime stuff, um, yeah, so I thought I'd try it, see how it goes, I lost some, some, some subscribers, I can't say friends, because I don't know who they, they were exactly that I lost, but my numbers are going back up, so hopefully they made the correlation, and are understanding that, uh, it's, it's me. It's just me. I just changed the name. Um, some may have left because they could have read it and interpreted it wrong. It's it's all good. Either way, it's it's no big deal. Um, I've got some good feedback saying they like the name. Keep it. So as of right now, it's going to stay what it is. I will still answer to Jeep Girl. <laughs> I will still you know answer to to Case. I. You know, it, it doesn't matter to me. Just uh, just know that it, it was time for a change. After a year, it was definitely definitely something that I needed to do going forward that, you know, if I'm still doing this in another 10, 15 years, like Jessie Marie, then I kind of want it to be something that will suit me. I, I don't think I should be an old lady and be called Jeep Girl. I don't know. I'm just weird like that. Um, so anyways, um, that's the channel name change. Um, let's see. What else is on my list? Um, ooh, speaking of Jesse Marie, I want a hate pattern um, for her Floss Tube 10-year anniversary. So... 
to be like Jessie Marie. She's such a sweetheart, you guys. She's she's awesome. She's doing amazing at life, from what I can tell on her videos. She's fun to watch. and So anyways, she did a bunch of giveaways. And um, I won a hate chart, which is awesome because that's what I was shooting for. If I was to win anything, I would have really liked a, a, new, a new chart because I'm going to have... Lots of new starts next year because I am a serial stitcher and technically a serial starter, but um, I do plan to finish some of these, so I'm going to stick with stitcher for now, but I do have a lot of new starts planned for next year. Um, one of them is one that Jessie just started. She showed it on her floss tube a couple videos ago. I think, and I fell in love with it because um, it's right up my alley of Halloween. So Donna Gelsinger brought out a new chart, and it's called, make sure I got it right, yes, Haunted House by Donna Gelsinger. And Jessie showed it, and she said she was going to start it. She didn't know when. Um, I mentioned in a comment to her that I would love to stitch that with her, um, and, but I did not have the chart or the pattern yet and may not be able to get it till next year. So in her recent video that I was five days late watching because of just life, um, I'm trying to get caught back up on floss tube, but so anyhow, she was planning to start her piece on, um, Friday the 13th. Um, so that would have been just this last Friday of October. So um, I did see today that she put out her next video. I need to go watch that because she should be showing Haunted House. As she should have gotten a start on it if everything went as planned on her end. So um, I, I sent her an email and let her know that I would like to get Haunted House by Donna Gelsinger so that I can also start that. Again, probably not this year the way things are going, but um, I do want to start that one uh, next year. Um, I think it would go amazing on the wall next to Trick or Treat by Randall Spangler, so, um, which is also one that I am working on. So lots of new starts, lots of start along stitch alongs with some amazing floss tubers for next year. Um, yeah, we're just gonna just gonna kind of go with it and do kind of whatever we want when we want next year. Um, hubby's piece is probably not gonna be done in time for Christmas as I am now another four weeks behind on it um, so I'm just gonna kind of take things as they come for now and when I have the mindset and concentration to work on something other than some than a color-coded chart that doesn't take brain power then I will get back into my other projects so update video if I get a chance, we've had, like, no time, just, just no time to do any of those videos lately. I'm just so exhausted that normally I wouldn't even be doing this. I would be sleeping and laying down because I'm exhausted. Last night I had to do a Sunday, so it was my injection for my rheumatoid arthritis and those injections exhaust me they make me sick they make me feel like I have the flu so it's kind of a laid-back day today in my jammies but I was chatting with my mom this morning over coffee and when we were sitting at the dining room table before she went to see my dad and um, we were talking about floss tube and told her I need to 
need to really get an update video out so I can get everybody updated, not just not just the people that I chat with in over private message that I needed to let everybody know that I'm okay, things are okay, going as good as they can, and we just are taking it one day at a time. So I figured since she was going to the hospital, instead of napping, I would be somewhat of an adult and do a little bit of therapy, which is stitching and chatting. So, um making use of the time that I have the house empty to myself. Um, what else do we have on the list? Um, hmm. Okay, it looks like the last thing on my list is to let you know that our Hobby Lobby is officially open. It actually opened early. I'm super excited about that. Um... I have meds that I have to pick up tomorrow, so my mom is going to run me into town tomorrow. Um, I have not been driving because it is my, my right hip and knee with all the pain, so I haven't been driving. I've been chauffeured around by everybody, so we'll have to go in and get my meds tomorrow. And I figure, um, since we have to do that, and obviously we are right across from Hobby Lobby at that point, that if I'm feeling up to it, um, go in and Mom and I can take a look at the Midland Hobby Lobby and see, see what they got going. Um, don't frequent Hobby Lobby very often, but, um... I do like to go look when I get a chance and see if there's um, anything on sale. They have they have good sales, so I don't normally buy anything unless it's on sale, and I can get it for a good price because I'm cheap. So they don't do the forty percent off coupons anymore. I didn't know that, so um, that kind of stinks. Cause yeah, everything's usually on sale, but. I would always find something to use a 40% off coupon on. One of the expensive items, but I don't do that anymore. I like that they're not open on Sundays so people, employees can spend time with their families and go to church and all that fun stuff that needs to happen to stay connected and enjoy your life. Um, what else can I tell you? I think that's pretty much it. Um, it's fall here in Michigan. It's been very cold and damp, though. Lots of rain. So, <sighs> leaves are falling like crazy. We have a little bit of color going on. Not a super whole lot, but we do have some color right now. And, um, I think it's... I think it's Thursday or Friday. We're going to get down to like 33 degrees. So it's going to be about time to... We did turn the furnace on, but Mike has to um, do some work on my pellet stove in the living room so that we can run that this, this winter. The corn burner, pellet stove, whatever you want to call it. Because um, the furnace is down at the other end of the house, so it's always colder down at the front end of the house where the actual like living room is and kitchen and dining room so we run the pellet stove down here and the furnace keeps the other end of the house warm so the pipes don't freeze so, always always something to keep track of um My rheumatologist came back, so that's awesome. I got to see him and get my meds renewed. I did have to take uh, three weeks off of my meds, which that was no fun. Um, so I can honestly say that my injections are working to help 
with the joint pain and stiffness because in the three weeks before I could get in to see him and get my prescription renewed, um, I did not have my injections. So literally was to the point where I couldn't walk. I couldn't wait bear bear weight. Um yeah, I I was down after the first week everything set in and it literally felt like somebody took a baseball bat to every bone and joint in my body. It was horrible. Um and then finally got in to see him. Um got my meds my prescription renewed, got my meds, um, and of course, first injection after three weeks throws your body for a loop again, because I've already now detoxed and got all the medicine out of my body just to turn around and reintroduce it, but, so that first week after reintroducing was hell, I was so sick, um, but, now that I've got it back in my system, um, I don't hurt as bad. Um, I am now officially walking with a walker. Um, I can't, I can't do a whole, whole lot of anything without the walker or being in a wheelchair at this point. Um, because the hip is so bad. So next month, can't come soon enough. Do I want to make the trip to U of M in Ann Arbor? Absolutely not. I'm not looking forward to that trip. My friend Sarah is going to take me and drive me um, so that uh, I don't have to go by myself because obviously my mom needs to now be there with my dad 24-7 until he's better. So she's going to take me and get me down there and get me back home. But So I'm not looking forward to the weather or the trip, but I am looking forward to meeting this doctor and finding out if he can do anything for me or if I am literally just not a candidate for um, any kind of surgical procedure due to age, weight gain, BMI, whatever. So I'll know next month if, if there's any relief in my future to be seen. So till then it's literally one day at a time. One flare up at a time, sometimes two or three at a time, but doing going with the flow, uh, managing pain at home on my own due to still no pain meds, even from the surgeon. So, yeah, it's fun, fun stuff. That's pretty much all I have for you. I will. If I do an update video, it'll be the next time that I have the house to myself so that I'm not constantly interrupted or have lots of chaos going on. Um, and honestly, it's an update video is probably just going to be me showing you Mike's project and what I've done on these stamped kits because as of right now the brain focus is not there um, my mind is going 100 miles an hour just trying to figure out the next move for my dad and what the future holds for him myself and my mom um, at this point we don't we don't even know if he's gonna be able to go home um, he's gotta get he's gotta he's gotta be able to do some things for himself to help my mom um, or he will need to go into a nursing home because my mom can't she can't do it could we tag team it here at home at my house probably with all of the people around here but 
they're like anybody else and want to be in their own home. So you can't blame them, but um, I do have the room here for a Hoyer lift and stuff if, if it comes down to that. So I will know more um, in the upcoming days and weeks, hopefully, and we'll be able to update every one of you a little bit more. But I'm going to tie this in. Um, I don't normally turn around and tie in in the back. However, with these stamp kits, it makes it a little bit easier to do that. So I'm just going to go back and forth a couple times and get that in there really good. And then I will snip that. So... That's what we got done, friends. We got a little bit of it going. Um, it's all black. <laughs> Sorry, it's boring. Sorry, I'm boring. Um, I wanted to just at least do a little bit of an update and just get some things off my mind and chat a little bit with, with everyone. So, um, again, this was, um, um, a product review from Paint Some Way. I appreciate them sending this out to me. Excited to get going on it. Um, and this is the one that has individual uh, floss drops. So not too for sure if I'm just going to go through and color complete on this one. Um, to make it easier. So I'm only pulling one drop at a time or, or how I'm going to do it. But I will update you on my update video on what I decided to do. So I hope that you have an amazing day. I hope that life is good to you. And that you are beyond blessed with everything. And take care. And we will chat soon, I hope. I miss you and love you all. Peace and love, my friends.